At Leicester Cathedral, there are just a few days until the historic reburial of Richard III. Richard's reign is renowned for being both brief and turbulent. What's less well known is that he was, in fact, a devout Christian. I ask you, most gentle Lord Jesus Christ, to keep me thy servant King Richard, and defend me from all evil, and deign always to deliver and help me. These words come from a prayer book, or Book of Hours, which was once owned by Richard III. Thankfully, it survived and is now kept at the Lambeth Palace Library in London. Historian Michael Wood is being given exclusive access to find out what this prayer book tells us about the King's faith. This is the book you've been waiting for. Oh, gosh, isn't that wonderful? It's wonderful. There's a kind of magic, isn't there, to medieval manuscripts? Yeah. So this is Richard's personal prayer here. It's a prayer added to his Book of Hours. There's no question that it's specially done for him. It's a very typical prayer of the, the late Middle Ages, based on the Psalms of David. And they identify specially with the Psalms that are about um, crisis, about being surrounded by my enemies. Uh, look at this here. I can just read you this, some of this. God Almighty, all the hatred which they have towards me, crush it, extinguish it, overturn it. Um, very intense, isn't it? And certainly personal. That's the impression I get from this. Very intense religious man and uh, acute sense of sin. We know this was written in the last year or two of his life. Did he read this before the Battle of Bosworth? I think he probably did. Richard's Book of Hours will be reunited with him during the reinterment service at Leicester Cathedral. It's a ceremony which everyone, including Rosie Hughes, is working hard to ensure is as relevant to the King as possible. Well, this looks marvellous now with the flowers you've added, Rosie. But these flowers reflect Richard's faith as well, in a way, don't yes, they? Yes, they do. I mean, the, the white rose is for, for Yorkshire, and it all links in beautifully, especially with the lilies. The lilies are for purity. It's a hugely important event for the city of Leicester, of, of course, but it's also a solemn service in some ways. It is solemn, but then, on the other hand, it's, it's rejoicing. It's rejoicing because he's now back in church, not in a car park. And then that's important, and of course important to um, everybody here in Leicester, for people to come and pray and celebrate the same as we are doing.
Well, that's all for this week's programme. Next Sunday, Alid will be at Liverpool's Anglican Cathedral for the start of Holy Week. Until then, our final song comes from Birmingham. Thanks for being with us. across the Mersey from our five remaining artists in the big painting challenge at six o'clock. Country file after that at seven. Adam Henson is on the Isle of Man tracking down an unexpected wild animal. And then the moving story behind a 1930s ceramic when the Antiques Roadshow returns here on BBC One at eight.